Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we have a 1994 U.S. Navy Carrier Wing 7 Zippo lighter. It has a very cool graphic on the front and some interesting engraving on both the front and back. I don't mind telling you I paid way more for shipping for this lighter than I did the actual bid it cost to buy it. Very happy to own this one and put it in the new rotating Zippo display that I bought from Ted Ballard up at the National Lighter Museum in Guthrie, Oklahoma the other day. Looks like the original weld marks for the hinge. The top one a little bit more dimpled than the bottom. A couple of dents on the top, which is pretty typical for, what would this be now, about a 28-year-old lighter? A little bit of pitting and dings, dents along the bottom. Many engravings on the back. May 94 to November 94, Maiden Voyage. And then there are several series of letters and numbers listed off. The engraving on the lid of the front says ABHC Cray Boats. I didn't do anything to this wick. I did clean up the chimney area a little bit and therefore the wick should have gotten mopped up clean a little bit but nothing major just wiped everything off the hinge shows movement in a couple of ways both from the pin and maybe being loose from it's weld as well, if maybe just slightly. The insert is well worn, many scratches as it has come in and out of the case, and you can see the X denoting 1994, and you can also see some excess fuel there along the bottom, but I could not see the letter marking indicating the month that this insert was produced. You do see the typical scuffs, wear, scratches, whatever you want to call that along the windscreen where the lid has brushed it as it went up or down. There's plenty of carbon residue even though, as I said, I did clean it just a little bit. I mean, I wiped it up, wiped it off. If you really want to get all that carbon out of there, there you can see the movement from the hinge. Also note that the hinge does not just fall flat against the case when it opens. The lid, I should say. The hinge does not allow the lid to do that. So while it does have some movement that leads me to believe it's not stable in the way that is welded into the case on the bottom, it still functions fine with the insert in there. Closes fine. And you can see those engravings on the high polish chrome finish. I'm going to strike this several times right here at this point in the video and it's not going to light. And I believe I went back and added some fuel to it. So funny. Sometimes you can squirt that fuel in there just like money the right amount every time and then you get it just a little bit shy and it doesn't reach high enough in there to get those vapors up to the top quick enough. If you left it in there overnight, then it would be fine. But trying to light it quickly, you really got to get that fuel up there to the top. To the wick now. It doesn't have time just to seep up there. You can see this multicolor graphic looks like at least four colors red blue yellow and white 
I think that is what would be the more recent modern common version of the town and country paint. I don't believe that's an etch and paint method. I read the top portion of these engravings earlier, but I don't know what these others mean. If each line is some sort of a voyage, or if the things on the left are different from the things on the right, they were added as they went places, I'm not sure. Also, I know that this particular carrier wing, while it had a different name when it began, in World War II, I can't remember, it was in the teens, maybe 18. Um, it has been around since, I believe, 1942. So this maiden voyage that it's talking about was not the maiden voyage for this particular carrier air wing, number seven. It must have been the maiden voyage I don't know if it was for this lighter or the particular boat that they were stationed on at the time. I looked it up. Now I don't remember what the... It was named after a president. The boat that this carrier air wing is currently stationed on. You can see plenty of scuffs and scratches to that high polish finish. A lot different from a brand new high polish lighter that you pull right out of the box in perfect condition. And of course with a painted logo like that or a painted graphic, that would look really sharp with all of the paint there with the really shiny, high polish finish behind it. But for a $1.25 winning bid, I'm not going to complain. It's a very cool lighter. If somebody can help me, I know a Navy person or two that I may be able to ask about this but would welcome those comments down below this video as well if you want to explain any of those engravings if you've got experience and know what they're about I would be glad to hear from you there some people like to go spend millions of dollars on their collection some of them will tell you all about how much money they've spent to put it together but for me I'll take this kind of find every day that I don't pay much at all for, but man, it feels like I have gained a world of value in what this lighter contains. So a very cool military Zippo lighter that I am glad to add to my personal collection. Until next time.